Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got the first installment of the Reviews Roundup from 2024 on this channel where I go over the my reviews and thoughts and ratings on the bigger projects, the LPs, the albums, the mixtapes, the EPs, the whatever, and we are starting with January of 2024, we go month by month, and I will say January, quite slow. It's normally a slow month for releases, but it was extra slow this year, and I think February is making up for it because February is massive so far already, uh, but let's hop into it with our first one. We've got J-Ray with the Lotus LP. As a brand new producer, J-Ray's debut album is fairly solid, mainly producing a more simplistic garage style of music. Lotus is a great launching point. Um, there are for sure some beginner tropes of linear mixing and song structure, but there are equally as many great things going on with its tone and sound design. So I will give this album a bowtied 6 out of 10. Then we got Drinks on Me with Freedom, a very personal, raw, and intimate EP. This one is for sure. Drinks on Me's uh, Freedom EP is his most narratively focused project yet, with far less emphasis on fancy production elements, uh, opting for a more kind of grounded project. Uh, the listener ends up uh, feeling like Drinks on Me's like closest confidant throughout this record, I would say throughout. Uh, my only gripe with the project is that the more kind of single style tracks aren't nearly as fleshed out as the more uh, touching ones are, and I will give this a bowtie to seven. Then we've got If Found, Vank, and Birdie Scott with the Social Suicide Pact. Uh, the trio producers here team up for, I would say, what is a serviceable electronic rock fusion record. Um, that's not the most unique nor innovative EP, uh, innovative EP, I should say, but it gets the job done. So it will score Bowtied 5. Then we've got Gyro, A Faint Glow of Bravery. Uh, crushing IDM and drum and bass production makes this a very atypical but lovely record. Uh, with longer tracks, this album's seven song track list doesn't feel overly uh, intriguing, but my goodness, the expertise and care put into each of these tracks is great. It, uh, yeah, there's, it, at, at a surface level, it feels like it doesn't really catch you, but when you really listen to it, yes, it does indeed. And it will give it, I will give it a bow tie to seven. Then we've got Kid Cudi with Insano. Uh, yes, I pr primarily talk about EDM on this channel, but uh, I do uh, listen to a lot of hip hop rap as well. So and pop here and there. But uh, yeah, tr <laughs> Cudi tried to pull off what Tyler did on uh, "Call Me If You Get Lost," Tyler the Creator. But uh, Cudi casually uh, forgot to make it interesting. I would say uh, easily Cudi's most commercial, bland record to date. The beats are basic, the lyricism is fine, and the other songs um, sound just like the last. So this will score a bow tied four. Uh, and then we got Sudden Death with the Harbinger EP. Uh, while Sudden Death will remain an oddball producer for me, this EP was a massive undertaking with tones of diverse sounds and styles, uh, all while keeping true to his core sound. Uh, I may not yet be on his tear out slash rhythm good side, uh, but I can't deny that there's some gold here. So I will give this a bowtie to six. Then we've got Riot Die, <laughs> Riot 10 with the Hype or Die ballistic EP. Uh, Riot 10 is here with another very divisive, silly EP. Uh, if you didn't, <laughs> or uh, if you don't take this project too seriously, you may find some enjoyment from this, but even then, there are a slew of questionable lyrical and production elements that pop up over and over and over again for me. So I will score this a bow tied three. Then we've got Armin Van Buren with Breathe In. A uh, mixture of Armin's like standard progressive house and trans production, Breathe In sort of just is. Uh, there's nothing special about the record or even noteworthy one way or another. Uh, he's become too complacent with his production nowadays, and it's very evident. And I will score to Bowtide 5. And finally, we've got Dylan Francis and Good Times Ahead with Pero Like, the Pero Like EP. Uh, an EP that feels like 10 years too late to the party. Uh, Dylan Francis and Good Times Ahead team up for a very underwhelming and messy project. Um, this is a pretty tame, uh, like, drug-infused, perpetual ravers anthem style EP. And um, yeah, I just uh, did not really enjoy it in that sense. So um, yeah, it's a lot of Moomba as well, and I just felt like Moomba isn't in a great place right now, but I will give it a bow tie to four. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that is all the projects that came out in January that I wanted to talk about. Let me know if I missed any in the comment section below and or what you think of my thoughts on these uh, projects as well, or your thoughts as well. So uh, other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.